Welcome back everyone, it's day 3 of iCard, I'm Gina and I'm using a 4x6 index card and I'm using um, leftover paint once again to start my card. I did not really expect it to um, come out so dark, I actually thought the lighter colors would still be usable but this is what we have. So I'm just gonna try this and see where I go from here. So I have my stencil and I thought that I would do some shapes today. So I'm going to just um, paint this throughout the card and honestly today was a little tough. I didn't, I today was tough. I didn't, the ideas wasn't really flowing much and I got stuck a lot, but you know, it's still something still happened, so that's good. It's kind of scary to get stuck so early <laughs> on day three, but that's okay. I I know some days are gonna be rougher than others. So I left it at five boxes: one, two, three, four, five, because I'm was thinking odd numbers, more pleasing to the eye, better composition, but it felt. You know, it's, it's kind of shifted too much on one side. So I think that's probably where the problem started. So I wanted to brighten up these squares and I used my fine liner bottle to do that just by giving it a nice uh, rum full of border. And while I was doing it, I decided that I will not put the outline throughout the entire square so it will look as if some of them are in front of each other and after i got here i was really stuck it reminded me of um chess the chessboard <laughs> and the linoleum tiles yeah it reminded me of that but i really was stuck and i did not know what to do after this so I thought, because that side felt kind of imbalanced, I thought, let me brighten up that side because the card is a bit dark, the background is dark, the squares are dark, so let me try and brighten it up. And then I was stuck again. So I thought, let me turn them into boxes. So I'm just going to draw them in a pencil. And I was going to paint them but I ended up using the fine liner bottle to fill in those, those spaces. And I didn't fill them in all the way, I just wanted to... I left some spaces in between. So just like how the, out, the white outline is, you know, it's like a messy border. The spaces that I filled in for the sides of the boxes, it's, it's intentionally messy as well, with just few slight spaces in between. So I wanted to do some lettering. I thought some words on each box would look really cool, but I couldn't get the right wood. So I finally decided to add another box, which turned out to be a little challenging because I didn't know where to put it, how to put it, if I should put it. <laughs> and But eventually I did decide to do it. So.
right so i'm pretty much done and even though i added another square which would have made it easier to add another a wood because you know i could get more woods with the number of squares i still didn't um i didn't do that although i thought it would have looked really cool to have a letter on each box but i ended up just writing over the entire box in a straight line i apparently pressed pause and i didn't remember and then i didn't like how i wrote it so i just painted it painted it over to erase it and i thought i would brighten up the area a bit so that you could see it better because i felt like it wasn't showing up enough and also i wrote it a little too much to the right so i'm just giving the where i'm going to put the wood i'm just gonna give it a, a washed out kind of background see i'm wiping up most of it and then i'm going to write my wood connected i chose connected because all of these squares are connected to each other they're all into blocking in some way they're not like spaced out next to each other they are actually like touching so and then i thought about our lives and how we are actually all connected in some way and you know i mean if you really think uh, for example an accident if an accident happens it affects so many people like hundreds if not thousands of people down the line because of traffic or because you know you never know maybe that person was supposed to do something concerning some people you were supposed some form you were supposed to get and there were delays and so you know it's i think we're all connected and then there's family we are connected in family ways by blood in so many ways that we don't even know because we really don't know much of our history so we're connected i'll see you for day four thank you so much for watching as always bye